It's a sponsored video by Solo.to. Solo.to is a biolink tool which enables you to put all of your content in one page and share that page with your audience with a link. Solo.to slash your username. I have a tutorial video about Solo.to beginner plan and how to set up your bio page in Solo.to beginner plan. I put a link to that video in the description box below and also in cards on the top right of this video. I suggest you to watch that video first to have a preview of Solo.to because in this video I intend to compare beginner plan and professional plan. If you watch that video first, you will have better understanding understanding about this comparative video. How Solo.to works First, you sign up with Solo.to and create an account. Put your content such as music, videos, photos, links, social media and stuff like that in that page and share your page with one link in your social media or everywhere you need. Solo.io offers four plans, beginner, personal, entrepreneur, and professional. I want to compare beginner plan and professional plan. This is my bio page in beginner plan. Here is my page in professional plan. On the right you see professional plan. On the left you see beginner plan. These are the preview of these two pages. Here is my background image, profile picture, display name, location, biography, contact button, and my links. Here again. My background image, profile picture, display name, location, biography, contact button, social buttons, a bar for searching my links, two sections, and my embed video is between these two sections, and my links. Now let's see how we manage these two pages in editor. The first difference is background image between these two plans. In the beginner plan, background image is not available but it's available on professional account. You click on background image, upload your desired image, you have a background image. In beginner plan, you can choose between these colors or enter your favorite color hex. Profile picture, display name, location, biography are the same. In the appearance, there is another difference and that is dark mode. Dark mode is available on professional plan. Let me turn off dark mode. It is how light mode looks. This is how dark mode looks. The fonts in these two plans are the same. Links and embeds. Here you can put your links and embed videos or music. Let's start with these three features. Only embed is locked in beginner plan. 
I start with links. I enter my link URL. I give it a title. Now these are the differences. Custom subtitle, highlight, custom thumbnail, and schedule is locked in beginner plan. What is custom subtitle? When I turn custom subtitle off, my links appear under my title. But when I turn it on, I can enter a subtitle for my link. What is highlight? Look at this link icon. The icon turns on and off. It is highlight. When I disable highlight, the icon doesn't flash anymore. I tell you about custom thumbnail in the next link, a schedule. You can decide that one of your links or several of your links display in a certain time in your page. For example, I have a schedule this link. I am adding a subtitle for this link. Now custom thumbnail. I disable custom thumbnail. My thumbnail changed. When I enabled, my thumbnail changed again. When you enter a link in the URL bar, the thumbnail that appears for your link belongs to that URL. Let me show you on the page. Here is how it looks. Now I turn it on and upload my desired image. I upload this image for example. Click on done and now I have my own thumbnail for my link. In the section, you can separate your links or embed videos by this section. The only difference is that in professional account or plan, I can give a title for my section, but it's not available in beginner plan. For example here, I have divided my embed video with these two sections from my links. I give one section a title, I didn't give another section any title. Here is how my video is separated from my links. First section has a title, second section doesn't have a title. Another difference is embed. You can embed your videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Twitch, also your music or sounds from SoundCloud, Spotify.
you just enter a link give it a title and your video or audio or music will be embedded in your page so i have scheduled this link i turn it off because i don't want to schedule this link Now in the buttons, we have two kinds of buttons here, contact buttons and social buttons. In contact button, you can enter your business email and it's on your bio page. It has two styles, colorful and minimal. I have chosen colorful. Here you enter your business email or business phone. You can choose between call or text in phone section. It is how minimal style looks. It's something like black and white, but I prefer colorful. In the social button, there are two shapes, a square and round. Here is how round shape looks. And there are three styles. You can choose position of your social buttons on the top of your page or at the bottom of your page. One click option is only available on professional plan. And for entering your social media in your page, you need to have a professional account. In the beginner plan, you cannot enter any of your social buttons. For entering the social buttons, click on it, enter your URL, and for deleting on it, click on X button. In the integrations section, all of the integrations are locked in beginner plan, but in professional account, I have enabled link search. Here, for example, someone looks only for your Instagram. He you type Instagram and your link will pop up. This is link search. If you have Facebook Pixel, you can link it. And if you want to collect email from your audience, you can link your MailChimp or Zapier and start collecting mail, phones, names. You can also put it on top or at the bottom of your page. In beginner plan analytics, I can see my today's and all time views, but I cannot see my today and all time clicks. It has no sort options. But in professional account, I can see my today and all time views. I also have a sort option from 7 days to 12 months. I can also see my today and all time clicks. Again, I have another sort option here for my links. In the beginner plan, if you click on your account here, you can see your email address. You can see your page username. If you are a team and want to work on one page, you cannot collaborate in beginner plan. You need to have a professional plan. You can make several pages in one account. Here is for your password, deleting your account. If you click on billing, you can see your current plan. In professional account setting, I can see my email address here, my page username. If I have a team, I can work on one page and add content to this page. I click on collaborate, enter my team email addresses and invite them to work on this page. In the beginner account, if you want to upgrade your account, click this button, enter your information and upgrade your account.
Thank you.